So where do we need to go exactly? What you're listening, cloth is to where the caliph is in it. The palace, man, the palace. It's beyond the main square, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Oh, this guy followed us. Hmm? Oh, I forgot. Forgot the voice I gave him. Oh, it's it, it's Spike speaking. Oh, that's the voice. Uh, nothing. I just had this funny feeling we were being followed for a second. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry. Let's get, let's get going. Okay. Sure. By the by the beards of the mighty, the regal lines, the majestic curve of the nostril, your nose. It is in every respect the same. The same as hers. I'm sorry. Please, you must let me study it. What? Who are you? Ah, oh, forgive me. Con, that's your name. But I, I am but a humble artist. I am currently painting the portrait of one who, to whom, you bear a most striking resemblance. I look like the person in your portrait. Indeed, and alas, I am unable to meet her in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study you a little more? More? Well, if you must, go ahead. Hmm. Yes. Ah, so it is more like this. The line of the jaw is key. Yes, of course. Thank you. I am in your debt. I know just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You have my eternal gratitude. Um, that's alright. You're very welcome. I must return to my studio right away. Farewell. That's freaking weird. Wow, I wonder who this person is who looks like me. Whoever it is, the artist certainly seems to think she's rather beautiful. Crikey, these arty types that have been intense in it. Not to mention a bit flippin' weird. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just that, you know, it was a bit of a funny di funny one. Did you not think so? Just me, was it? Right, oh, I'll, sh I'll shut my big mouth, shall I? So, time to get moving, is it? Sure, let's go. Let's go to the palace, then. Hey, hey, hey. How do I get to the palace? Tidy, this is the, pla the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Halt! You may not pass. You think you can just walk into the palace of our most revered caliph un unannounced? What seems, what seems to be the what seems to be the problem here? Matrabu. These mis this mis these miscreants were attempting to enter the palace without permission. Is that so? Wait, are you the Vabana merchant's daughter? Are you not? I am Abul, vizier to our esteemed Khalifa. Your father's efforts to supply her magnificence with with Vabanas are, as ever, highly most highly appreciated. I had heard that you were unwell. It seems you have recovered. Yes, I'm much better now. Thank you. That is excellent news. Tell me, child, what business have you at the palace? Well, sir, you see, we need a ship, and we can't get one without a letter of passage from the Khalifa. You and your friends wish to journey to the lands, lands across the sea? I sympathize, and I would dearly love to arrange an audience for you. However, is something wrong? I'm afraid the Khalifa is un indisposed, much as it would please her. She, she is currently unable to hear the requests of, the, of any of her subjects. Oh, that's too bad. Apologies. But she has requested that she not be disturbed under any circumstances during her afternoon snack. Then I guess we'll just have to wait until after that. Would that you could, but her afternoon snack is immediately followed by her second lunch. And after that, then comes her late afternoon snack. Um, is there any time when she's not eating? Alas, her Mujasi's miraculous hunger dictates that she dine even even during her sleeping hours. This is why I'm forced to spend my every waking hour procuring her most beloved food. Ah, but I must be going. Her most beloved food? I wonder what that could be. Forgive me, I must make the, the necessary arrangements before the merchant supplies are exhausted. I am most terribly sorry that I am not able to grant you an, an audience. Curses. I, I must hurry. I can, if I cannot pr prepare her Mujusi's next meal in, in good time, she will be most displeased. Master Abul has spoken. Leave this place. It looks like we don't have much, uh, don't have much choice, Oliver. Come on, we'll come back later. 
No, there's something, there's some, something freaky going on. So the ca the caliph has a, has a very special food, is it? Hey, I bet I bet if we found out what, what it was and took her some of it as a present, we'd be allowed to her to see her. That's a neat idea, Esther. But we don't know what her favorite food is. Oi, 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 boy! You know who? You know how we can find out, don't you? Um, come on, slow coach. We go to your world and find a soulmate, ain't it? Of course. If we find our soulmate, we can find out what, what, what their favorite food is and give some to the Caliphate. But how do we find out who the Caliphate's soulmate is? I've never seen her before. Really? Hmm. So we need to find out what the Caliphate looks like, but we can't go and meet her. Well, if we can't meet her, how are we supposed to find out what she looks like? I saw her once in a parade when I was little, but it was so long ago I can't remember anything about her. So what do we do, jeepers? We don't know what the Caliphate's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas too. Bah! All this thinking's making my head hurt, man. Tell you what, let's let's go down down, down the cat's, cat's cradle and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess I am kind of tired. The cat's cradle is near the entrance to town. Okay, let's rest a while. Let's go. Let's go rest a while. Ah, wrong way. There's a treasure chest there. Let's get that. Could have gotten this a long time ago. No, nope. won't let me interact with it. Probably because I have story stuff to do. <laughs> Pampering. Where are you going? Shut. <laughs> Is that gonna be a, 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 a painting of? Is that gonna be a painting of Caliph? That's that's convenient. Yeah. Oh, it's a painting of Caliph. you get compared to royalty. It's not gonna look at. It's not gonna look any anything like her. Oh fuck, that's in it. That's mmm. Mmm. Not gonna shame anyone. Oh, it is divine, truly divine. A matchless beauty takes one's breath away. You're pleased with it. Pleased? Why, it is it is worth thrice what I promised to pay you for it. By the beards of the mighty, truly? But we shook upon it, did we not? Perhaps next time. I see. Excuse me. I yes. I don't look anything like her. Hmm. You said I looked like her. Uh, you misunderstand, young lady. It's not a picture of you, merely, Mr. Drippy. Hey, what is it, man? This is just getting interesting. We need to. We need to go to Motorville right now. I just realized who we need to see. You did, eh? We. I sure did, Miss Layla and Mrs. Lola. Miss Layla and the Caliphus is the Caliphus soulmate. I just know she is. Of course she is, that's clever of you, Ollie boy. Thanks, Mr. Drippy. When I saw that picture, I knew right away. Right out. Let's get moving then, shall we? I don't feel tired all, all of a sudden. Me either. Hey, Esther, come on, we have to go. Huh? She's she's really, really angry. <laughs> I look absolutely nothing like her. Do I look that fat to you? I'm not fat. <laughs> You're still kind of kind of angry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the, in the slightest. Yeah, and I'm six flip, six foot, six foot flipping six. It looks like we'd better leave her to it. I guess we should, huh? Oh, that, does that mean she's not going with us? I kind of want her to come with us. 
cool. Uh, gateway. Is she coming with? She should. Find, let's find Miss Layla. Huh? The door is closed. Looks like the shop ain't open it. I'm sure if you wait right here, she'll be along soon. It's time to open up already. Someone's coming. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello, Oliver. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I am! And it's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a moment. I'll, j I'll just open it for you. Who's this girl? I feel like... Like you know her somehow? Yes! And she looks just like me. It's like she's my long-lost twin or something. She looks more, um, much more like me than the stupid, stupid old Khalifa while well, she's still bitter. Hmm, can she, can she not see me or something? A specific of you, she can't see you nor me neither. Really? So I'm invisible? What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't it? Huh? Did you say something, Oliver? N uh, no, no, uh, no, I didn't. Anyway, how come you're here at Miss Layla's store, Myrtle? He <laughs> he, I work here now. Miss Layla and my mom are friends, and when she heard that, that I was better, she said I, sh she said I should come work for her. Gee, that's really nice of her. Say, Myrtle, is, is Miss Layla around? Sure, she's busy training. Training? Training right now. She's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. Uh, Miss Layla? Training? That's right, she started running. Is she on, is she on a diet? <laughs> no, silly. She's exercising so that she can eat even more. Huh? What, how do you mean? Ah. <sighs> Myrtle, I'm back! Wife, it isn't young Oliver. Hello, dearie. Good morning, Miss Layla. Myrtle, I can't wait any longer, would you? Yes, Miss Layla, I'll go I'll go get it for you right now. Ah, it's not good. I can't just I, ju I can't I, I just can't wait that long. I have some some in the store, dear. You stay out here and clean or something. Maya, I, ne Maya, I never no, I never saw anybody so crazy about their favorite food. What was that? Did she say favorite food? Oi, Oli boy, I bet it's the same as the Califus. You're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Is cheese? What is she eating? Oh, that's a lot of cheese. That is a lot of cheese, yeah. お店のチーズはね。一つも売り物じゃないの。全部私のおやつなのよ。おお。おばさん、お願い。僕にもこのチーズちょうだい。うん。おばさん、お願い。僕にもこのチーズちょうだい。うん。いくら売り場の頼み
She's gone. Have fun t talking to your to your imaginary friend, did you, Ollie boy? Better than talking to your real real friends, was it? Huh? Imaginary friend? You mean P? P? Who's that? What do you mean? She was right right here. Um, I did I didn't see anyone. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Well, maybe it's just like how, how Myrtle can't see me, but I can see her. You might be right, you know. I've never seen this P either. Anyway, what did P say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah, she told me I, I uh, she told me to use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well, she may be too sh shy to, to let her see, that, see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck, neck out, advice-wise. You mean it? You mean it won't? You mean it won't work? Nah, man, it'll no, nah, man, it'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible, isn't it? But I guess it's difficult without the right ingredients, huh? But we do have them. We do? Of course we do. Back in Alma Moon, the fountains of milk. So we use magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese. Now that we can do, tidy. Right, oh, Wally boy, let's go. Let's get back to your to our world, shall we? Yes, let's go straight to the fountains of milk and try it out. They're in the main main square back in Alma Moon. Gateway. Fountains of milk. Hello. So these are the fountains of milk. Geez, that real milk for real? He. <laughs> of course, the freshest, creamiest milk there is, and there's so much of it. You can just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying? You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on, you've, you've got to conjure up some, some, some cheese. Focus. Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure, you heat some milk, then you add lemon and salt, and you skim the, and you skim the solid part off the top, and it turns into cheese. Salt, lemon, and milk. me, a regular cheesemonger you are. This, this should be easy peasy, then. All you need is the right spell, innit? Sure. Let, let me take a look. Um. Oh! Look at that, it's flipping working. It really is. You're so good at magic, Oliver. I bet you could, could even make sweets if you put your mind up, up the mind to it. And cakes. Oh, I could just eat a. Hey, stop that! I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, but you're, you're gonna turn the whole thing into cheese? You're gonna make make a uh, like a big village. Oh shit! And you did make some candy. Eee. Look at the flipping size of that man! And you went and made some sweets and all. That was Esther's fault. He. <laughs> I bet you wanted some some too though, didn't you? You shouldn't just distra distract somebody when they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see see the Califa. Our presence is a little on the large side, but I don't suppose it'll matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. Let's please it with, let's please it with cheese. Did I not get candy then? Can I can I do it again? Nope. Hey, hey, dude. Good day to you. How may I be of service? We, we brought some cheese. We brought some cheese to give to the caliph, Mr. Abul, sir. Cheese? Praise be to the ancients. I had thought there was none remaining in all the land. The Caliph just can't get enough of it, huh? Hmm? How did you hear of this? There's a secret known only to, to those within the palace. No matter, you are correct. Her majesty is, is indeed a great admirer of cheese in, in its many forms. She will undoubtedly grant an audience to any who, who come bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me, quickly. 
Here we are. Okay, so what's the emotion here? It's greed? Would, it wouldn't be hunger. They're so cute! It's so cute, it's so cute, sorry. Oh, this is kind of gross. Gross. You're not even chewing anything. Yeah, there's something, there's something going on here. Restraint? What, what is she missing? Restraint? For some emotion she's, she's missing. Her, her heart is broken. Selflessness. どうやら女王様も抜け殻みたいな。でも、そんな感じせえへんけどな。失ったno? Why's the spell book there? Oh, it's just... Okay, that's cute then. Hmm, where are we gonna find restraint? That... the, the thief is also having trouble with the, with the restraint. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. We can use the locket to try and look for someone, but this is a big old town. Man, let's try the shopkeepers first, shall we? That's a neat idea, Mr. Trippy. The people who own the, the shops might uh, know everybody in, in the town, and they the, and they hear all, all, all their news, too. They do, don't they? Great, let's ask around the shops, then. Uh, no, 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 Oliver? Yeah. Oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So they... Ah. So they got in the palace, did they? And what did they talk about? Did they now? Okay, keep me posted on, on what's going on inside. And my payment? Don't worry. You'll get your reward. By the time... By the by the next time we meet, I'll, ha I'll score you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? Nah, don't, don't be stupid, it's just a figure of speech. Now concentrate on the job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to, to be my eyes and ears, don't let me down. No, 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 no. Hi. Right, uh... Bu -bu 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 -bu. Spirit medium. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun. It was flipping boiling, man. Boiling for, boiling for you, maybe, Pipsqueak. I'm a ghost, and ghosts don't feel the heat, so there. What are you doing here, Horace? I'm looking for... I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. It's squirt out milk. All the milk a boy can drink. They're what On the Moon is famous for. But the spicy smell coming from, from, the, from that food stall is making the, spell, the smell of the milk. It's strange. Oh, you think so? I kind of like it. Hey, there are a lot, still loads of spells you don't know yet, aren't there, Oliver? Well, I'm trying, it's just that my wizard's companion is kinda... Uh, most, most of the pages are missing. Missing? Wait, I had to give you the page for, for the spirit medium, didn't I? Uh-huh. When Mr. Drippy first gave it to me, the only spell inside it was Gateway. Really? So the pages have, had been torn out? I bet it was that idiot Shadar's doing. Alright, I suppose I'd better help you fill it back up again, hadn't I? 
Tidy this, generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little midget, after all. Well, I'm not just going to hand a, lo a load of pages over, if that's what you're thinking. Oliver will have to prove his wizard and comprehension skills first. The wizard's compendium isn't just full of spells. There are also stories in there that were gathered by the sages over the centuries. But those have probably been torn out, too. Stories are pretty powerful, after all. They might inspire people to stand up to him. Right, I'm going to give you one to get you started. Have a read, it's one of my favorites. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Stories. No. Are the no. Let's it was that one, right? Shepherds. Was this the story? I can't tell. I can't tell which which story it was. Okay, it's the first story. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, the, face, the first story? Okay. 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 Cowardly Prince. Okay, I, I may need to take notes. In a certain country, there lived a prince named Tamalo, who was sharp of mind, but weak of spirit. His father was a brave king, strong, wise, and, and loved by his subjects. But the noble example he set served only to weaken Tamalo's spirit. On one occasion, his father told him thus, Soon, my boy, it shall be time for me to retire, upon which you will be, thou shalt, be, shalt become king. While the announcement delighted the prince, it filled him also with a terrible dread, for he did not have the spirit required to ascend to the throne. In his vexation, he wandered from the castle lost in thought, whereupon he encountered a fearsome-looking lion. The prince tried to flee, but the lion caught, caught him easily in his paw, lifted him to his gaping mouth, and swall swallowed him whole. At first the prince thought he was doomed, but at length he began to began to reconsider his position. At least I no longer have to become king, thought the prince. After taking a deep breath, he said to the lion, Mighty lion, I am the prince of this country, and the day after tomorrow I was due to become its king. Since thou hast now swallowed me, however, thou must thou thou must needs become king instead. King, eh? replied the lion. I shan't I shan't complain complain about that. Thereupon the prince led the lion back to the palace. The courtiers were shocked to see the lion enter the palace, but the prince pleaded with them from the inside his stomach, and the lion was accepted as king. The lion proved to, to have quite an aptitude for royal duties. Whensoever there was a dispute in his kingdom, the lion would simply growl at the quarrelers, Stop complaining, or I shall eat you alive. Whensoever a bridge was swept away by a flood, the lion would simply use his paws to rip down a tree and lay it across the river. Regarding taxation and legal matters, the lion was utterly ignorant, but whensoever such a problem arose, Prince Tamalo would speak for him from inside the stomach and provide him with a sound solution. After some time, news reached the king that two dragons were ravaging the eastern and western edges of the kingdom. The people were ter terrified and looked to, the to their king to deliver them from this terrible evil, upon which the king announced that he should go and smite the dragons himself. But even the fearsome lions stood no chance of defeating two such terrible dragons. My dear stomach-dweller, said, said he then, what in the wide world should I do now? 
Tristamalo considered the lion's question and at, and at length provided him with a suitable scheme. The lion headed east to the part of his kingdom that was rav ravaged by the larger dragon and, soar and, and roared in its ugly face. Dragon, I shall soon slay thee. I fear thee not, for no matter how large thou art, thou shalt never devour me. Oh ho! Scoffed the dragon. We shall. S oh, oh, sort of. Okay. We shall see about that. Upon which he ate the lion whole. From inside the dragon's stomach, the lion said, "Dragon, thou art now the king of this land. It is therefore thy royal duty to defeat the dragon rav ravaging the western part of thy kingdom." At first, the dragon paid him no heed, but when the dragon witnessed the humans around him bow bowing down in deference, as Prince Samalo had requested them to do be beforehand, he decided to do his royal duty. Whereupon he went to the. Wow, this this is gorgeous. It's like a real book. Uh, maybe they, they just printed a, a real book. Okay, to, to the western. Okay, whereupon he went to the western mountains and, and slew the other dragon. Once the other dragon had been slain, the lion commenced uh, commenced scratching the inside of the dragon's stomach. Ah, oh, it hurts! It hurts! Cried the dragon, rolling in, on the floor in agony. Have mercy, I beseech thee. To which the, the lion said, If thou wouldst not feel this pain, thou thou must promise never again to hurt the people of this kingdom. Oh, very well, I promise, cried the dragon in reply, but the dragon was a cunning beast, and Prince Samalo knew that he would break his promise the moment the lion was out of his stomach. He therefore had the lion take out the, the babbling berry that, that he told him to bring with him and, and place it inside the dragon. This berry was known to make noises that sounded like someone someone muttering to, to himself. With that babbling berry in his stomach, the, drag dr the dragon shot notice when the lion escapes. Later that night, when the dragon was sleeping, the lion crept out of his gaping mouth and set off back to the palace. The dragon left the king and his subjects alone forevermore. The kingdom had been at peace for ten years when the lion said to Prince Samalo, Stomach dweller, it is time thou camest hence from in there. I would have thee take my place on the throne. Prince Samalo was shocked and replied in a quivering voice, I fear that I, that I not have the spirit to become king. But thy judgments over the, ta uh, the past ten years have been... Have invariably been wise," said the lion. "This is that. This is as may be. But I am a coward," replied Prince Tamalo. "It was only because I I was protected by a great, great strong lion that I could act so decisively. Yet the lion paid no heed. With an almighty sneeze, he ejected Prince Tamalo from his stomach. It had been ten years since Prince Tamalo had seen the wide world outside, and he could not believe his eyes. The lion's mane was now full white, and its fa face covered in wrinkles." Shut up inside the, the, the lion's stomach, Prince Samalo had been quite unaware of this. As thou canst see with thine own eyes, said the lion, I have grown old. Ten years hast thou resided in my stomach, and yet not once didst thou scratch me or, or cause me any pain, as I myself did, did to that dragon, though thou couldst, couldst have done it at any time. The courtiers and, su and subjects of this kingdom did not accept me because I am strong. They accepted me because I have given them my all. By which I mean, thou hast given them thine. Thou art the true king of this country. Thou lackest not this spirit, I assure thee. In, in like manner, everyone in the palace beseeched Prince Samalo to become their king. Prince Samalo, everyone is humbly grateful for everything thou hast done. Our country needs, needs needeth s such a king as thee. Upon hearing these words, Prince Tamalo felt his courage swell up inside him. As King Tamalo gave still more of himself to, to his country, and despite the fact that the lion had retired, he continued to live alongside the king in the palace. Though many, country, mo, mo, though many countries are ruled by animals these days, in ancient times all kings were human. Indeed, the magnif magnificent lion about whom you have just read was the first ever animal to be acknowledged as a king, and the world has, has never been the same since. This is a great story, dude. Yes. Here it goes. There are quite a few characters in the story. Do you remember them all? Tell me, who is the third smallest out of... Prince the... The third smallest? Oh, no. Does it say anything about the size of the dragons? That I, I didn't pay attention to dragons. <laughs> no, no, no. Larger dragon. Okay. Okay, so the eastern dragon is the larger dragon, so the western dragon is the third smallest. Yes. It was the. Uh, 
Eastern. Uh, uh, drag gone. The third smallest. Smallest is the prince, then it's the lion, then it's... Okay, I'll, I'll try it. Dragon of the West. Okay, that's okay. Uh, that's that's how, how they're phrasing it. Dra done. Of the. West. Correct. Very impressive. Your wizardly comprehension comprehension must be almost as good as mine. Oh, I said I'd help you fill your wizard's companion back up, didn't I? Here. Draw poison. What does that do? Do. Oh, it's, it heals poison, I guess. Thanks, Horace. I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that, but you worked worked it out eventually. That's what being a wizard is all about. Learning learning to look carefully at every detail and understand what's going on. Shut up with a wise old man talk, will you? You're no flipping older than Holy Boy here. I'm not? No, I suppose I suppose I No, I don't suppose I Um I don't at least I don't seem to be. What's that supposed to mean? Strange, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, really important. Never mind, I, I can't believe how much this place has changed. I'm going to see if other towns around the world are as different these days. I think I'll head somewhere with a with a bracing sea breeze next. I might not be able to feel the feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. Let's go check out the stores. Oh, no, no, no. Going to the weapon shop, I guess. Hi. Ah, you look troubled. Well, if if it's equipment, uh, uh, if it's equipment tough enough to survive the harsh desert environment, you're you're after you've come to the right place. Um, actually, we came to ask you something. We need to find somebody with a lot of restraints, but nobody seems to know a person like that. You must be rooking in all the <laughs> rooking in all the wrong places. Unless I'm raven mad, I know just the person. I know just a person! Oh, you do, do you? Who is it? Please, you have to tell us. A bull, of course. A bull, of course? If I had his patience, I'd be growing all, ab all about it about it all, all over town. A bull. That's right, bro. A little bird told me that it, it told me quite a story about him. It was a few years ago now. One day, the caliphate decided out of the blue that you could, wouldn't, br wouldn't beak. Wouldn't be content, content so good. Be content until she had tasted all the cheeses in the world. I guess she was cheese? I guess she really is just like Miss Layla, huh? Without a moment's hesitation, a bull set off to, to rook for them all. Fuck. The for through forests and across open oceans he went, battered by blizzards and often surviving on a little more than a wing and a prayer. But finally he came to roost, came home to roost, and when he did, 
It was with a cart piled high with every type of cheese under the sun. Oh, blimey, it must have stank. Now that's what I call restraint. And my goodness, does he need it? Was there a majesty crown crowing, all, uh, crow crowing on him all the time? Right, it is impressive. He did all that. Risk his, risk his life and everything just so elusiveness could have a snack. Tidy, I think we found our man, Holly boy. Neato, we should go find him right away, but I think her heart's still broken, so we're gonna have to go to the... Let's go talk to a bull then. It's funny because it's Abdul, but since this is sort of milk and cow themed, it's a bull. It's actually kind of cute. See, there are horns everywhere. A bull. Oh, he's he's up there. Okay. Mr. Bull, sir, we found out about some, about somebody with a whole lot of strains. You did? This is excellent news. You must tell me. Who is it? It's you. Me? But impossible. Not in the slightest, Peter, Peter Patience. Look at Ollie Boy's locket. It's glowing up a tree. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Bull? Hmm. Well, I... Of course you may. For her, for her mood, you see anything. What must I do? Hey, nothing to it. Just lie back and think of Alma Moon. Well, go on with it, Ollie Boy. Sure, here goes. Take heart. Yeah, but I won't be able to give heart to her. I'm pretty certain I won't. That's a new one. The power to resist the demon of temptation. You obtain some restraint. Tidy, all done. Already? And this is truly enough to restore her Mujusi to, to her former glory? You bet it is. It's not going to be, though. Mmm, cheesy wheeze. Mountains of delicious cheese wheeze. And all for us. Mm, nom 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 nom. He's got cheese on the flippin' brain, eh? Even dreams about the stuff. Quick, Ollie boy. Magic a better, will you? Yes, sir. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Is it? I guess it does work. Never mind then. We have, we probably haven't, haven't been up in a while. Is she gonna fall? She's gonna fall on her butt. No. Okay, she's fine. You okay? You okay, ma'am? We feel quite marvelous. Whatever can, can have happened to us? I'm not gonna do the voice. His humble servants made, made your, your Mujusi's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Caliph's most generous appetite is now abated. Well now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course, but we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to, to the ears of our people, of your people. al Mumun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. Munificent, munificent Khalifa, Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, your majesty. Your majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd, we'd like to borrow your ship. Your ship? Ship? Oh, 
our little f oh our little floaty woody. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is a little use to us. You will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to to help you in any way he, uh, he can. That's nice. It's gonna be it's gonna be a huge letter though, isn't it? You will. Gee. Thank you, Your Majesty. Goody, the boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear, dear little thing like you need, have need of our floaty wody? Here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did, did we not? Well, um. Hey, go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. A bull, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most are most are the Caliph. But little has been heard of such men since, since the magical uh, magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. Oh? Is, is something wrong? We are not unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well, we will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were there were once there were once four sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shadar. Eh, eh. No, this is a weird voice. Mm. Um, oh. But we know of one we know of one who did not perish. Well, he, he lives in the hand of Hamelin, a, de a detestable and warlike realm. But he is a, he is a handsome young thing. He even, we even keep a, a picture of him. A bull? Crikey, she sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. Yeah, he is handsome. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, it, that is, Ollie boy. It's lucky. Cool. Mm hmm. Now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Oh, thanks. Really? You're a wizard too, Your Majesty? Mm hmm. Well, not a full fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom? Undoubtedly has a trick or two up his, uh, his kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. Mm hmm How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still leader here. Nature's tongue. Burden. Oh, yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic lot. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the coast uh, thingy kingdom, whatever. Yep. Yeah. 